Wilbur Award for Excellence in Longer Documentaries goes to Journey Films. Revolution of the Heart, the Dorothy Day story, profiles one of the most remarkable women in American history. As a young woman in the early 1900s, she was attracted to communism, believing it was a way to end people's suffering. But in her 20s, she converted to the Catholic faith, and that set her on a life-changing path. She co-founded the Catholic Worker Movement that began as a newspaper exposing unfair labor practices and deplorable working conditions for the underclass. But she soon realized writing was not enough, and she opened a series of homes for the hungry and destitute. The Catholic Worker Movement soon took on other causes, including protesting the Vietnam War and nuclear proliferation. When Dorothy Day died in 1980, there were 30 Catholic worker houses of hospitality. Today, there are nearly 250, and the Catholic Church is beginning the process to name Dorothy Day a saint. Here's a portion of the trailer of Revolution of the Heart. In many ways, Dorothy Day was a typical grandmother. I see my grandmother as someone who was very ordinary, but also very extraordinary. I mean, I understood that she was different. Different because Dorothy Day was so often on the front lines, protesting war and nuclear buildup, creating houses of hospitality for the hungry and homeless, and earning her place on the FBI watch list as a dangerous American. Yeah, Dorothy Day is a big troublemaker. As a young journalist, Dorothy Day campaigned for those in need. Her work keeps putting her front and center in the social movements of the time. She wrote about workers' rights, child labor. She was attracted to communism, believing it was a way to improve people's lives, all part of a chapter in her own life that would leave its scars. But with the birth of her daughter, Dorothy Day turned from communism and converted to the Catholic faith. There, she discovered a path that for nearly a half century led her to become one of the greatest champions for the poor America has ever known. She thought if communism is radical, why shouldn't Christianity be radical? This is radical. My grandmother always said that she never meant to start houses of hospitality. She never meant to open up soup lines. But what happens when you start writing about these things, people show up at the door. She wanted the people to exercise their own sense of personal responsibility. You see something that needs to be done, you do it. But accepting the biblical challenge to be peacemakers also compelled her to become a pacifist without compromise, to use her Catholic worker movement and the newspaper she founded to resist America's intervention in any war. She annoyed people because she challenged them. She would say, don't call me a saint. I don't want to be written off that easily. Well, I think if you take the Lord's words, you'll find they're pretty rigorous. The Sermon on the Mount may be read with great enjoyment, but when it comes to practicing it, it really is a, an examination of conscience to see how far we go. Revolution of the Heart provides a rare glimpse at both Dorothy Day's public and her private life, giving us a fuller picture of a complex woman of faith and saint-to-be. This is the fifth Wilbur Award for Martin Doblmeyer and Journey Films in 16 years. The wins include The Reinhold Niebuhr Story, Chaplains, The Power of Forgiveness, and Bonhoeffer. 